What's going on everybody? It's your boy here. So I wanted to make this update video uh, and a correction video, I guess you could say. Um, it's not so much a correction, but it's more of something to think about. So in the last video, I had the Orca and the Macnall pushing out the new rare spawns in New Eden and we made a good amount. There's nothing wrong with that. It's still a good amount of ISK. So there's no correction needed on that. But it was brought to my attention that I was also not getting my full potential. And I wanted to carry that on to you guys and share that information because I didn't think twice about it, but I did at the same time. I was currently working on a fitting to make sure that I was getting the most bang for my buck out of my strip miners by taking my tech twos and making them the ore strip miners, which has a 0% of residue. And what does that mean? It means a residue is if you have a rock that has a million mass and you mine it and you mine it and you mine it, every time you mine it with residue, it kicks it off the space and nobody gains it. So if your rock, rock was worth 1 million, you're only left with 600,000 because that 400,000 or 40% was kicked off the space and you do not get that. So with these rare ore sites, met the ISK value is a lot higher than the over time as if, you know, your ice belt or a moon goo, those are over time. And that's just more AFK and more just uh, trying to get your speed up and just trying to get as much as you can within a couple hours. Uh, this one is a very short period of time and you're trying to collect it before everyone else does. So you want to get as much as you can as quickly as you can as well. So the update is do not use drones to mine this ore. The reason why is because drones also have, I believe, a 34% or a 40% chance of residue, depending on what drones you have, even the harvester ones. So what I would do is park your porpoise, which I'm going to be using the porpoise because the orca is too slow to be making the 10, 8, you know, 12 jumps for these, for this ore. Someone might beat me to it and speed is everything. So we're going to be using the porpoise to compress everything and to boost our fleet. And we only need two boosters and the orca works fine because we're not using crystals anymore. So we can able to drop that booster and be able to run a fully fitted with combat drones porpoise to support and boost and compress our macnals. And in this video, you guys see our two macnals. All both of them have or strip miners. So they have zero residue. And they're able to have very decent cycle times. They also get a boost of range and reduction of CPU, which is helpful if you want to fit your upgrades. And if you don't have max skills, it's great. Um, it does help you quite a bit. So with that said, instead of the 46 million or whatever it was that we got from the other video, I did a site and I was able to pull in about 59 million rounded down there was another site we had an orca on site um and he didn't really do much but he did have residue and he did have a drone on each rock he if 59 is our baseline he took away about 8 million uh ore so we only ended up getting about 51 000, 51 million and 500 thousand so uh now another one we did someone already attacked so we're not going to include that now the next video guys is going to be how long do these spawns last how long how often do they spawn right now it's not looking good um but i'm going to try to give you guys the update on that and also get the average amount of the ore on each site does it fluctuate between 30 million or is it fluctuating between 40 and 50 or is is there a possibility that you can get 100 million or even just 5 million. So that's what we're going to be trying to find out. And that next video that release will cover that uh, for you guys. So once again, I'm using the porpoise with no drones, with boost and compensation, uh, compression, sorry. And then we have two Macnalls with the ore strip miners, no drones. And we are doing them in a pretty decent amount of time as well. A couple cycles and the rock is gone. So the timing is still very quick. It's not like it's taking more time now. It just, you wanna make sure that you get every bit of that rock because they are so rare that every little bit, bit helps with that ISK income. 
And if there's any more questions about this video, guys, go ahead, leave them in the comments down below. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, guys. And uh, we will be looking at doing some mining missions. I've looked at some mining missions, and they're all like from two years ago, five years ago. One was from nine years ago. And so I kind of wanted to look at to see if they're they're worth it. And so maybe there's going to be some videos uh, going um, soon into that. But I want to also reach out to you guys. What kind of videos do you guys want to see? Are you guys looking for more fittings? Are you guys looking for more how to be more efficient? Are you guys looking for overview settings? Let me know in the comments down below what you guys are personally looking for as a minor industrialist. Now, I don't really make blueprints. I'm looking to getting into that. But as a mining setup, let me know what you guys want to see. And I'll see what I can do to make that happen. So until next time, guys, I will see you guys, and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and be sure to share it. Uh, but also know that every time you share it, those spawns will be probably attacked a little bit more each time it's shared. So best of luck, fly safe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. The asteroid is depleted.
The asteroid is the depleted. The asteroid is depleted. Warp drive active. Warp drive active. 